Well, hello, hello, everybody. Mana here. No Man's Sky. We're finally back. It's been a few months. I know, I know, but we're back. We're cruising. We're gonna get back out there. It is 2017 still. Trying to squeeze in a few more episodes before 2018 hits. And uh, No Man's Sky. Drama game, right? I mean, came out in 2016 with a lot of drama, but 2017 was a good year for No Man's Sky. I must say, a lot of good updates and uh, good impressions on those aspects. But what are we doing? I have no idea. Uh, let's go find out. Uh, our current mission is something to do with ghosts of some sort. What is this? I need to go to a Viking system, which that's not right. That's not right. Uh, what are we looking at? Oh, yeah, we want to look for current mission. Uh, how do I just go back to my ship? There we go. Double B. You are here. Current mission is down here. And our home base is not so far, actually. Um, hmm. That's what's going to be better. I'm going to jump to the home base, and then once I hit up the system with the blueprint trader, I'm going to bring you all back. So hold on. Let's do this. Welcome back, everybody. How do I get out of here? Uh, start to leave. All right. Let's do it. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. First contact in the right system, though. We are here. Yep, all we have to do is stop by the big old space station, which, instead of going to my home planet and just doing one jump, I did do three jumps. And each space station was very, they're finally making them pretty unique looking as well, just adding little bits and bobs on them to give them a little character, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. But before we jump in, I'm going to do some scanning of planets. I've been finding more planets. Remember, I'm going to try to focus an episode style planet there. I heard some big old freighters just drop in. Still don't have a freighter of our own. But again, that's another thing that we can just go, that's okay. That's okay. Um, what else are we missing here? Enemies. Let's just hop on in. Get up on in here, blueprint pr uh, trader. And this is for the, what is it? Ghosts of a Shell? Ghosts in a Shell? It sounds familiar. Like the movie. No. Uh, nope, that's not the right button. <clears throat> Let's see, log. Ghost in the Machine. Very similar. So we're going to head on up and to the right. Go talk to our Viking friend here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty happy to be back into No Man's Sky. Uh, I like taking a, you know, I gotta take a month off or so just to get a fresh start with it, be re-motivated. I just saw that this save has 80 hours of gameplay, so we still have been doing quite well. But there's still more to do. This place looks a little bit different. I like it. Uh, it's the small things, right? It's the small things. All right, bud. Enemy Slayer Dabanak. What's up, interloper? That'd be me. Glora! Alright, the being looked at me with the great expectation as I approached. Having assessed me, however, I appear to have been found wanting. They give me their attention, but their focus is clearly on the entrance, as if waiting for another. Uh... No, I'm just gonna stare at him. Staring contest. The warrior holds my stare for a short while, then looks away. As I leave, I see a new respect in their eyes. Nice, good staring contest right there, but we gotta go talk to the trader. Are you okay, buddy? You look like you have a... Are you eating something? You, it looks like you ate like a weird stuffed animal and little legs are sticking out. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird looking, whatever you are. Sorry to say that to your face, but at least I'm... I think that's your face. I don't know. Okay, something about a weapon. Uh, the Viking is keen to show me their new stock and the new multi-tool. So let's go ahead and offer 100 nanite clusters. We've got like 500. We're all good. But here we go. Terrain Manipulator. Just needs iron and plutonium. Even though we already have the Terrain Manipulator. 
Good to know, good to know, moving along with our missions there. So that means now I can go wrong button as I normally do. Look at the log. We can now visit a multi-tool technology trader in a Viking system, uh, which we did, which we did. Uh, and then let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, do we have on this multi-tool? Uh, let's see, install technology. Uh, and it's going to be one of these, right? Terrain modifier. I mean, what is it going to show up as? Something here? No, no, no. Probably the very first thing. All technology. At least we'll see everything. Yeah, we're now down to 430 nanites. Not great. Not too bad. Um, dude, you just ripped me off. Where's my, uh, press back? Uh, hold on. Uh, press back. Oh, it's because I have one. Derpy. Derpy to derpy derp. There we go. We had to delete it. And then we added it, but unfortunately, we lost all of our uh, fuel. Because that thing costs a lot to refuel. But no, it's, it is what it is. Build a fauna analyzer now. Is that our new mission? Is that our new mission? Like, that's, that's, that's what we're trying to figure out now. Uh, so I'm going to hit back. And fauna analyzer. Is that what you are? I really didn't want to... Oh, this game. Sometimes it does weird stuff. Let's go that and then that. Are you happy? Build a fauna analyzer. I just... Oh, I just deleted all that to do that. We're going to leave. We are going to leave. Yep. We're going to leave. That did not work out in any way, shape, or form the way I would have liked it to. Because uh, now, Ghost in the Machine, return to space and contact Apollo. Okay, I just had to come out here. Maybe it did work out how I wanted it to. Let's go. Boom. All right, Apollo, how are you doing? Let's go ahead and hit the down button on our little controller thing there and Starship Communicator. You are not alone. I know you, Traveler. I know where you have been. I know where you're going. Well, psh. I'm, I'm watching you too, buddy. There is no need to hurry. Um, who are... I, hmm, that kind of goes away with I'm watching them and I know who they are if I'm like, who are you? You will find us when the time is right. Oh, okay. Objects uh, updated. Ghosts in the machine. So, answer the communication. Oh, getting another call here. Hey, Apollo, are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Confirm. I'm bored with my base anyway. We've got it all upgraded. It's as big as it can be. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species. But don't be fooled, the synthetics delight in espionage. Point out, Apollo is a robot. Yeah. He's like, what, me? I'm not a robot. I was born just like you were. But there is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to the shell. This is who I am. So basically, yes, you're a previous being, but you're still a synthetic, so you should kind of hate yourself. Um, say you feel sorry for them, ask how this happened. I mean, I'm pretty sure just, you know, organic gets old. It's just they found a new way. Uh, I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Uh, 
that's a little... That's a little... I don't know. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. I'm kind of worried about summoning a bunch of Sentinels on my home planet. Just kind of saying. Just kind of saying. Corvax facility uh, location discovered, eh? Let's see. Let's get on the other side of this space station. And it looks like we're going to have one that we can go to on this planet right here. Arriving in three, two, one, and 40 plus seconds. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we can look at. Do I keep moving when I do that? No, I don't. Um, haven't done any more investigations. Remember, the other thing that we were going for in this Let's Play is the originally the goal was all tens on the milestones. So we got to keep on keeping on with that, which means more battling more traveling but I'm enjoying that we can uh, continue working on these missions it gives us some little side quests it's been keeping it keeping it fresh freshy fresh this is very fresh since we haven't played for about three months all right all right and I'm gonna flip around for the atmospheric landing here and let's see can we get a boost can we big get a boost that is way too far away Little, little rotation there, little rotation there, and I'm using my Xbox One controller that came with the Oculus Rift, just as a reminder. Been uh, some questions on that in the comments and on the Facebook page about uh, what's going on. Oh, also, by the way, if you don't keep up with uh, the channel that much, and it is, and if it is still 2017, you can get in for your chance at Steam gift cards. Just go to the Facebook gaming group. Monte Rico Gaming Elite Community. I always have the links down below. And um, there's an event going on for the top games and DLCs and all those good things for 2017. Best game soundtrack, things like that. And uh, although No Man's Sky cannot make the list as it is a 2016 release, uh, just still worth bringing it up so you guys can join the fun, join the event. And uh, bonus bonus is uh, there's chance to win Steam gift cards. Don't do that all that often, but at the end of the year, Monty goes a little crazy. And uh, Dragon's Gaming rubs off a little bit, and I get the little Ray Ray Cray Cray. Which, shout out to Raiden, who actually was the one who hooked me up with this game a long time ago. A long, long time ago. I don't forget. I mean, I do forget a lot of things, but I don't forget cool things like that and boy is it bright out going through the clouds going through the cloud layer this is going to be a bright blue baby blue planet wow that's bright uh, coming in hot coming in hot right on the Corvax facility and let's land it and the sentinels might get a little crazy we have no idea how do I change weapons Change weapons. Nope, we don't want to build anything. Um, let's see, let's see. Nope, 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 don't want to terrain manipulate. That's right. It's all the one weapon. It's a multi-tool. Um, don't want terrain manipulator. Bolt caster, caster works for me. Can't forget to scan the rocks. Plutonium. Ooh, what is that? Something in 14 seconds. I forget. I've got the nice advanced mining drill now. That's always helpful. And let's see. Getting a lay of the land before we head on in. But it is a bright and foggy day. Is that possible? Yes. Foggy and then the star of sun of this place. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm just... Uh, oh, yep. You're going to mind me. Cool, and fire. Nope, fire. There it is, fire. Fire, fire. We're in. Quickly. Stabilize it. Um, what do we have to do here? 
carbon and heridium. Uh, iron. And... Okay, we can fix this. So I need 25 carbon and 85 iron. There's 9 carbon. There's 8 more carbon. There's... Ooh, 10 carbon. Ah, oh, uh, not enough though. All right, let's go get some iron. Let's go get, uh, ooh, plutonium while we're here. Can't say no to that. Um, I'm actually quite surprised that those guys got okay with me as fast as they did. I mean, I killed the one guy, blew up a door, and then everything was cool. Really, five. Five, my friend. We're gonna save. Obviously, because that's what we do. Ooh, carbon. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. Nope. Oh, exocraft mining laser required. Fantastic. You'll work. Hey, buddy. Only five species. I like it. I like that it tells me one of five. Uh, maybe I should look up into the sun. Any Anything flying around? Any other animals? Cruising. Feel the bruising. I think that got us everything we needed. Good measure. A little extra iron on the way. Beep, 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 beep. Go grab this guy over here. Neutrino module. Ooh, fancy. Plutonium? Nice. Alright, this might get messy, but before we do it, let's uh, check on that. Extract some nanites, and here we go. Repaired. And good. I like that a little bit more work. That's all we need, more grind. The terminal's data is useless. The Corvax within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species flotilla. Uh, mm, tortillas. Uh, something has them worried. Probe. Time to probe. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Ooh. Let's watch the video. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something here with me. Shine the light on it. I shine the light upon it. It is a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. Oh, he left his pet! My scanner tells me that the creature is gra gravely ill. It will die no matter what. Oh, intervention occurs! Really? Are we sure? Well, let's try to feed it first anyway. I feed the creature nervously. It takes the zinc and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of the little meal only to try to continue the process shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. I probably should have put it out of its misery. Um, that sucked. Um, a, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Where? Where? What? Where? What? Where? Hey. Hey. Hey! How do I? Ah! Nope! Bolt caster. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. What are you? Where are you? Dude. Calm your hole. Alright. Where's the other one? Where are you shooting me from, buddy? Are you in here? None of these games. Come on now. None of these games. No. You will not call your friends. You will not collect money or 
go, you're going to go straight to jail, is my point. Uh, that's my point, you're going straight to jail. Uh, what about this guy out here? Did he have anything good on him? Haven't been fighting these guys for a while, the Extreme Sentinels. Reload. Action. Don't mess with me, buddy. Don't mess with me. Alright, let's get on out of here. Done with these hippies. Alright, what do we got going on? Leap in the dark. Activate a portal. Return to space and contact Apollo. But not today, folks. Not today. This was just jumping back into No Man's Sky. We're going to be doing that next time we did complete a mission. Was happy about that. Just happy to be touching base again on No Man's Sky. A little shorty today. Maybe we'll go a little bit longer next time. But the series continues in 2018. I'll see you then for No Man's Sky. Peace. Keep on gaming, everybody. Monte Rico Gaming, like it says right on the display there. With a little TV at the end. I'm out.